Do you feel constantly tired, even though you're taking your rest days, you're doing all the right kind of recovery things, but just constantly feeling tired and fatigued? There's one tool that you can use that can help you figure out what's going on, and the chances are you're probably wearing it on your wrist. In this video, we're gonna tell you what it is, how to use it, and why it's important. Let's dig into what heart rate variability is and what it's measuring. So inside your body, you've got the autonomic nervous system, and that tracks all sorts of stimulus around you and inside you. And the heart rate variability is literally the interplay between the autonomic and the sympathetic nervous system. So when we are under stress or under stimulated, your heart is a reflection of what is going on there. So in times of high stress, you're going to be overstimulated. And really what we are looking for from heart rate variability is a very high number. We want extremely high interaction between the two um, nervous systems because that tells us the body's in homeostasis and it's wiggling around the mean to keep everything under control. As soon as there's an external stress or internal stress that is really big, that swings that whole system out of play and as your body fights to get everything back to an equilibrium, that number goes down. So you want high numbers for well recovered, low numbers means something is not well inside. So now that we know what heart rate variability is, why is it useful? Heart rate variability is a really good tool for us to make instantaneous calls. What do I mean by that? Heart rate variability is a lot more sensitive than what heart rate is. Heart rate is something that we need to track over several days, usually two days, for us to at least get some indication as to what is happening in the body. The reason I say that is because heart rate is a response to a stimulus. So whether that's a training stimulus, whether that's an external factor, stress, something that's added to the body that then affects heart rate. And that takes a little bit of time for, as a response. Heart rate variability, however, is instantaneous. It takes into account your autonomic nervous system and notices changes almost immediately as to what is happening in your body. When I say almost immediately, we can get a pretty accurate reading within two minutes of taking a heart rate variability test or a, a, a reading. Now what is actually key here, and as I mentioned, being instantaneous and being able to make real time decisions allows us to determine, right, are you ready to get started with a quality training session today? Do you need a little bit more recovery? It's a really good way for us to also track your overall well-being. We need to keep in mind that with your autonomic nervous system, it takes in external stresses. So not just what the training session today has done to your body, but did you sleep well last night? How much stress are you undergoing at work? Is there any emotional stress that you're going through at the same time? Are you potentially getting sick? All those factors play a role in your body's resilience to handle those stresses. And are you ready enough to put down a quality training session or do we need to hold back, maybe do a lighter session, maybe give you another day's worth of recovery? We then talk about the physical changes as well being a factor and things that contribute to those physical changes are things like change in blood pressure, heart rate, your breathing, your digestion. So there's a lot of physical factors that are going on in the body that all affect heart rate variability. And if something is out or something is off, we are able to pick up quite quickly that your heart rate variability readings are not right. And again, make those decisions in real time as to whether or not we think it's a good idea for you to be training. So it is a really great tool for us to be tracking. Always a good thing to track over time, but it does allow us to track what is happening in your body instantaneous and make real time decisions around your training. So there are many different devices that, that measure your heart rate variability. If you've got a, a, a Garmin, as an example, I have a Garmin, so my Garmin with my chest strap will give me a certain number. Different devices will give you different numbers. And the key thing here isn't really what that number is. Across the different devices, they all have their own measure and essentially their own units. So it's not about that particular number. It is more important to get that trend over time and how it relates to you specifically. That is the key thing here. So if you measure your heart rate variability and you do everything really reliably, 
one day's worth of a, of a measure isn't going to be useful. You want to do that over a couple of days, very reliably, making sure that you're doing it at the same time of day and you're getting good data, but you then want to take that number and create a trend over time and see how that changes. And that's really going to be the effective tool to help you decide whether or not you've recovered enough and whether or not you're ready for training. So very much like heart rate, there's a lot of individual variability. If we talk about resting heart rate as an example, my resting heart rate will be very different to yours. So it's really important that you figure out that individual variability for yourself when you're tracking HRV. It's all very well tracking what your heart rate variability is, but if you want to improve it, you need to do these four things in your training.